Designer faces are so expensive and you can DIY it for less. Just like I did. This is my textured face that I'm going to be talking about. Um, I added some little wood bead details, primed it, then I added some texture, and here's exactly how I did it and a few tips along the way. Let's get creative and have some fun. I wanted my wood beads to stick out, so I used some scrap plywood. Cut with snips. I used my square and a washable marker to mark a straight line every two inches. Now let's attach the scrap wood pieces. You could even skip this part and glue the beads directly onto the vase. The only reason I didn't is because I was trying to replicate my inspiration picture. I used an epoxy glue because that's what I had on hand. Any type of glue that bonds to glass, woodwork, or even wood glue. Now let's add the wood beads. This part was a little bit tricky. Using both hands and having my tape ready really helped though. The key is just to keep the wood bead straight as you're putting the tape on. For this application, I did use wood glue. And after each bead was taped on, I did check to make sure that it was aligned properly. As you can see, I'm kind of doing here, lifting it up, making sure it's straight with the other one. You definitely don't want crooked balls. I like to check that they're still even this way as well. I wanted to use caulk around the balls and the wood piece to make it nice and smooth, but I didn't have any. So I decided to make this face textured due to the coarse compound. It was a little more complicated to get the compound around the balls. So if I did this again, I would definitely go get caulk. I finally worked it in and just used my finger to make it nice and smooth. I used the color Like Butter by Clear Paint and the Baking Soda Hack. Glass is clear, you can prime it for less coats of paint. After I put my first coat fully on, I started to play around with the texture. I scooped up some paint and I just dabbed it on randomly. I figured using paint would be enough to cover the holes, but I definitely would do caulk or the compound if I did this again. You can see the smooth side here and why I didn't leave it smooth because right by the balls, it's very textured what the compound was at. I don't know why, but I just love doing this stuff, getting crafty and having fun with my home decor and just making it how I want. I even played around with some dirt, but that just got my hands messy and didn't look right. Covered it back up and it just added texture. I did a little finger painting in some spots for some extra texture and I liked how that looked as well. It definitely took a little while to dry with all the layers, but I just love all this yummy texture. For more do-it-yourself, subscribe to DIY House Designs.